Hey everyone, John Deere here from John Deere's Embroidery Legacy and these are exciting times. Hatch version 2 has just been released and one of the questions that we've had is how do I get my lettering, my ESA fonts that have been uh, purchased and put into the program from the version 1 to the version 2. Now when you do load the version 2 it will preload all of the fonts that come with the software but you'll notice that none of the fonts that you may have purchased automatically load in. So it's a very easy process to do. All I'm going to do is go to my Windows directory and I can see that I have my program files 86. And when I click on program files 86, you're going to see that there is a folder called Wilcom. And when I double click on that folder, I can see that I have Hatch Embroidery Software version 1 and Hatch Embroidery 2. Now I want to go into my Hatch Embroidery Software 1. I'll double click and all of the fonts that you've loaded in have been placed into user lettering. And what I can do is I can just grab all of those fonts. I can hit Control A, highlight them. I'm going to copy them and then I'm going to go to my USB drive which I've inserted and I'm going to just copy them straight into my USB drive, I can create a new folder if I want to put them in one place and let's just paste them into there. Now you can see that it's transferring all of those files over to my USB drive. There's 544 fonts that I have on my version 1 software and we want to get those transferred directly into version 2. Now it'll just take a, a couple of seconds for it to transfer over Remember, at Digitizing It Made Easy, we have over 600 optional ESA fonts and elements that you can add into the Hatch, Wilcom, and Genomi version 5 software programs. So this is a great way to take all of your fonts and easily get them switched over into your version 2 software. Now the reason why I save them onto my USB drive and not just copy and paste them into the new version 2 is I do like to have a backup of designs and ESA files and this is just a little safety precaution so that if you ever do accidentally have a program that either crashes or you buy a new computer and you reinstall Hatch on another computer you can easily access those files and put them into the program folder for version 2. So now I'm going to go into my Wilcom folder again I'll go into my Hatch Embroidery 2 and I'm just going to go into the user lettering and you'll see that there is a few of the preloaded fonts within the software. I'm just going to paste all of those directly into that folder and when they all appear I can now go in restart my Hatch software and they will automatically show up within the program. Hi everyone, John Deere here and thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends. Also, to become part of the legacy, be sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified every time we release a new weekly video. So join the legacy now. It's no mystery, award-winning embroidery is our history.